Hello, this is John and I'm going to show you how to set up a health and damage system in Unity. You can get all the files for free in the description down below. First of all, we can see that our system consists of four different scripts. The main script is the damage system health. It holds the character's health and triggers two got hit actions. One when the character gets some damage and the other one when the character health reaches zero. This is what happens when the character dies. Each body part should have a damageable body part component. When this component collides with a damager, it takes a damage defined by the damager and then modifies it, modifies this damage with a multiplier and passes it to the main damage system health. This way, a character can take more damage when he takes a hit on the head, for example. Let's set up the system. This is our our placeholder player and this is our character. First we have to assign the main script here. Okay, uh, This is the current health and this is the maximum health the character can have. Now let's set up uh, the For each body part that we expect to take, dam take damage, we have to assign a damageable body part. So when something hits this character on the head, we would like to multiply this damage by 3. Now each damageable body part should uh, hold the main damageable to pass the damage to. We also need to assign a damageable tag to all the damageables on our scene. We can see here that the damage uh, system health should have two got hit actions. One for the case that the character dies and one for the case he got hit. So let's create those two actions. I already created them. As you can see, we do not have mono behavior here, but we near it from got hit action. Got hit action, it is in fact uh, mono behavior, and it has only one method, the got hit. So we override this one method, and here we write our code. What happens when this character got hit? And the same goes for the die action. It is uh, we derive from the got hit action, and we write here what happens when the character dies. So we come here, die action here, hit action here, and we set up those two. Okay, now those two are empty as just uh, they are just placeholders. There is nothing. So we have nothing to set up, but in a real life scenario here, you would have uh, your animator, uh, I don't know what. And the last step is to set up our projectiles or, or your weapons. Here we have just a projectile, this sphere. It has a rigid body, a sphere collider, and it will also need a damager. Okay, we want our damager to only uh, hit the damageable body parts, not blood, we do not have blood tag in the scene right now. And let's say we want to give a damage of 10. Okay, let's test this. Now, you can see here, it says I've been hit, and if we hold our character, the health has gone from 100 to 90. And each time we hit our character on the chest, uh, the life goes down by 10. But what happens if we hit our character on the head? So you see, the damage got multiplied by 3. And if we hit him again, you see it says character died because it triggered the die action here. That's for it. Um, you can download all the files in the description down below. Thanks for watching.